Safi another good time tuna connect hapa double update mtazamaji wangu. Mimi naitwa Mr. Double J kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa. Bwana niseme asante kwa wote ambao wanaendelea kufuatilia double updates lakini kwa wale ambao tunakutana for the first time at kwa mara ya kwanza basi cha kwanza na wakaribisha cha pili naomba kabisa mjiunge na familia ni rahisi kabisa ndugu yangu dadangu unachotakiwa kufanya ni kusubscribe tu na siku zote wewe unasema ukisubscribe utakuwa umejipa au utakuwa umejitengenezea nafasi fulani poa kabisa ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati lakini pia hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments na waomba pia kitu kimoja mniachie bendera ya inchi yenu si ndio bwana kama kawaida yako kama kawaida yetu niachie tu bendera ya inchi yako nitakuwa najua nani anafuatilia double updates akiwa sehemu gani alafu naamini kila kitu kitakaa sehemu ambapo inatakikana kama haujagundua mimi nataka nikuchanue straight kabisa kadri siku zinavyozidi kusonga ndo wa Kenya wanaendelea kuamini kimeumana na kitaendelea kuumana mtazamaji wangu. You understand? Yaani vitu vinaendelea kwa was. Yaani ile uh, imani kwamba vitu vitakaa vizuri siku hizi haipo kabisa. Unajua unaweza ukawa unateseka lakini unaangalia alafu unasema ah, itakuwa sawa tu. Baada ya kipindi fulani kila kitu itakuwa sawa. So unajua sasa hivi <laughs> nataka nikurudishe nyuma kidogo ndio uone vitu hapa ni kugumu zaidi. Kipindi cha nyuma walituambia tuwapi tu muda kidogo tu. Unaelewa eh? Na muda yenyewe ilikuwa ni ya wakulima kabisa ambao walipewa sijui fertilizer. Unaelewa eh? Eti sasa watoe eh, kwenye shamba alafu watueke huku sisi tujue tu siage ama nini ndio unga eti ikue eti bei ya chini nafikiri kama hivyo. You understand? Tukawapa imagine sasa mwezi ni wa saba kabisa lakini vipi? Wewe unaona mafanikio yote? Unaona matunda yote? So inamaanisha kadri siku zinavyozidi kusonga mambo yanaendelea kuumana kabisa. Yule wa treasury waliwaambia wali, wali, wali vizuri kabisa. Hapa bwana hatupo sehemu pazuri. <laughs> pesa haipo. E, pesa hai, pesa haipo. So kwa sababu pesa haipo lakini zile zingine zinapatikana za kina Ruto, Mdavadi pamoja na Gashagwa za kununua magari. Hayo yapo. Sasa zetu sisi kama wananchi wa kawaida E, ambao tuliitwa hustlers ndo hazipo kabisa mtazamaji wangu so hapa kuna picha moja tu kwamba hata watu ambao waliwachagua kwenye hivyo viti ambavyo tunaviona leo hii hawana sauti yoyote unanelewa hawana kwa mfano nataka nikupe mfano mzuri imagine wewe ni mkenya ambaye unatamani kuwa na Kenya na songa mbele you understand na kwa kweli unaona kama sisi kwamba tupo sehemu pazuri alafu pia hela ukiangalia tuna fedha fulani tuna fedha fulani ndio inaweza katusaidia kwa kitu fulani hata kama sio kikubwa lakini kitu fulani kidogo you understand afu kiongozi anakukujia na kuambia nipe 800 million ya kununua gari au kununua magari kama mkenya halisi utafanyaje utawakataza unanelewa ukishawakataza wakatae ndio kikiumana uambie watu kwamba ah, hapa bwana kulikuwa na shingi ishirini. Kwenye hii shingi ishirini, kuna mtoto alikuwa anataka maji ya shingi kumi pale. Sasa viongozi wanataka ni wape shingi kumi na tano wanunue magari eti waniachie shingi tano ambao ataiwezi kusaidia yule mtoto kwa sababu mtoto naye anataka maji ya shingi kuu shingi kumi. Unanielewa? So alitakiwa kutuambia kwamba no. Hapa ni kubaya. Hatuna hela lakini hao wanataka kiasi fulani fulani lakini sasa huku tutafanyaje yani kama Kenya i mean kama mkenya ambaye anapenda nchi yake na anatamani kuona nchi yake ina shine na vitu kama hivyo sasa mimi nataka nikuchekesha hapa kidogo uh, CS wa agriculture mythical inturi has asked Kenyans to eat rice as an alternative to ugali sasa nataka nikuchekeshe <laughs> hii rice ambayo tunaikula Eh, hii rice ambayo tunaikula si tu kwamba ni yetu. No, hii rice ambayo tunaikula imetoka nje. So hapa tayari na kuonyesha wametafuta ugali, wametafuta unga hawajapata. Hawametafuta mahindi hawajapata. Yaani hawajapata chochote. You understand? So wanawaambia kitu kingine ambacho kimepatikana kwa uraisi ambao ni mchele. Sasa nyinyi mkuleni mchele? Mkuleni mchele. Wandugu zangu waloya mambo vipi? Hapo vipi? 
e, wanasema hakuna ma, nani hakuna mahindi so kama kuna mahindi hakuna unga hapo mtafanyaje lakini ah mtaniambia hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments bana acha nikusomee anachokisema hapa uh, mythical intuli some of the uh, some of the countries we have approach uh, do not want to share their maize with us because they are afraid of their food security i therefore urge kenyans to embrace rice potatoes and other food substitutes uh, we have already brought or brought yes tons of rice and we are bringing more next week now sasa nataka mumuulize hapa mythical inturi swali moja eh acha kutupima akili sisi watoto wadogo sisi sio wapumbavu kuna swali moja ambao linabidi hapa tumuulize mythical linturi okay kama wanaogopa uhaba wa chakula kwenye nchi zao kwa nini wanakupa mchele mm, sometimes tuonge ukweli si wanata, kabisa si wanasema kabisa sisi oh, njaa hatutaki kukumbwa na njaa na nini okay kwa nini mchele mnapata alafu mahindi mnanyimwa? Sometimes tuongee kweli. Kwa nini mnanyimwa nani unga alafu nani mnaungo na nani uh, mnanyimwa mna kabisa mahindi alafu mnapewa nani mchele? If kwa ni mchele ni mingi sana mpaka hawawezi kabisa wakakosa kuapa au inakwaje kwaje. So hapa in short ni kwamba wamenyimwa. Au kama hawajanyimwa hawana pesa nzuri ya kuileta tonge kweli hatuwezi kukompea mchele na unga na, na mahindi you know that so is it, kuna vitu viwili hapa it's very simple is either wamenyimwa ama hawana pesa ya kutosha ya kuleta hiyo mahindi hakuna nchi ambayo haitaki kufanya biashara sidhani yani kama biashara ni nzuri wataifanya unanelewa so hapa jamaa tayari ashachanganyikiwa na anaona we hapa sasa tutafanyaje Achapa ni kupe taarifa uh, vizuri. Now, many Kenyans could be facing trouble as it emerges that several developed countries have refused to grant President William Ruto's request amid the situation in Kenya. Sio kama nani, sio kama aerial yako iko juu unaweza kupata kitu ambacho nazungumzia. So inaonekana Ruto ame request mpaka vyakula kutoka sehemu zingine wakaambiwa haiwezekani hata kama situation iko ikoje hawawezi kabisa wakatupea you understand so hapa tayari inabidi tumie hivyo hivyo haya in a message sent by the agriculture uh, cabinet secretary in bracket cs mythically turi many developed countries do not want to sell their maize to kenya as the government now urge their citizens to go for alternatives like rice potatoes and other foods while after appearing before the parliamentary committee the cs exposed that the government was facing difficulties in purchasing maize for the country because of a world wide shortage kama ni world wide shortage kwa nini wengine wako nao wajua mithika sometimes unatupimaga sana akili in fact serikali yenyewe inatupima akili hii kitu ni ya world wide lakini kuna wengine ambao wamekataa kuwapa kwa nini hawajawaambia hata wao hawana kama ni issue ambayo imekumba dunia nzima wengine wako nao mpaka wanawaambia hawanaogopa kabisa hawezi wakatoa kwa sababu watakosa wao wanatoa wapi si kama kama wanatoa kama wanatoa na nyinyi muona kabisa wanazo na mpaka mnataka kununua inamaanisha zipo sema nyinyi ndo hawezo kabisa wakawapea cha kwanza hamna pesa cha pili eh mnajua mmenyimwa it's very simple mmenyimwa hamwezi mkapewa it's very simple kwa nini kwa nini mtaki kuelewa hiyo hapa according to the uh, uh, former mayor's county senator these developed countries had declined to share their maize with Kenya because they are afraid of food security hakuna kitu kama hicho bwana hamna 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 eh hakuna issue ya host eti mambo na nchi nyingine si nimeogopa hakuna nchi ambayo haitaki kufanya biashara nchi zote zinataka kufanya biashara na nchi ambayo inataka kufanya biashara unanielewa eh so hizo issues za kutuambia wewe umeshindwa umeshindwa kwa sababu gani unaona kabisa sasa sema ambapo wanatuchezea sasa nataka kuangalia serikali hii hapa vizuri imagine wanashindwa kwa sababu <laughs> hawana tena idea sema ambapo inaweza katoka wakulima walikuwa wamepewa fertilizer sasa hivi hiyo fertilizer hata haiongelelewi 
hata tu kutuletea tu update kuhusu ile fertilizer ambayo ilitolewa 6 months hata kama ni wewe 6 months ago unataka kun mahindi haijaiva 6 months ago fertilizer ilitolewa haijaiva mpaka leo hii tunavyozungumza mimi in fact unajua nimetembea kutafuta hiyo fertilizer mimi sijaona mtu ambaye alipewa kama mlipewa sawa mtuambie mmefika wapi tutataka kuona updates unaona eh kwa sababu sio mara ya kwanza naona vitu kama hivi vinapuuzwa na vinapotea kabisa viongelelewi tena ile pay bill ambayo ilikuwa inasaidia watu ambao hawajiwezi ilienda wapi mshae kujiuliza ilienda wapi ha, ilikuwa ni idea ya yadi ya shagwa ipo haipo haipo wawezi ukaiona tena mambo mengi tu wamezungumza hazipo nataka kutuambia hapa o mnyimwa si na nini mambo mengi ambayo yani yani nyinyi mnataka kutushanganya tu hakuna kitu kingine ambacho mnasema Unaelewa? Alafu sisi tukisema mmelemewa amtaki kukubali. Ah, wajua kitu ambacho kinanishangaza ni mmelemewa na inaonekana mmelemewa. Yaani kama hamwezi mkapata mahindi then mmelemewa. Ah, yaani hawataki kuambia kuambiwa hivyo. Wakiambiwa hivyo unawaonea, hauwapendi, hauwataki. But it's the reality. Ndio ukweli ambao upo mtazamaji wangu. So tutafanyaje? Hebu ni heshima ni yako hapo chini uh, mtazamaji wangu. Mimi naona inchi za nje pia zimechoka na William Sam. We are tired with you. <laughs> eh, tumechoka. So ni hivyo kama hivyo ndo hivyo basi. Wacha iwe hivyo. Melemewa, tumalizie hapo mtazamaji wangu. Tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata na kama hauje subscribe au tunakutana kwa mara ya kwanza, hebu na subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati. Bye bye.